Hi everyone. This was BCIT's first full week of remote learning and work, and I wanted to thank each and every one of you again for your resiliency and your patience. While many of our programs and functions have transitioned very effectively, I know change is hard and it's been a disruptive time. We all have some ongoing challenges in, in however we're working offsite, but we're working through them. And I encourage you to reach out to the person you report to if you're experiencing issues in your new work environment. We will gradually get them sorted out. As these new restrictions settle in, we hear the daily reports of the new COVID-19 cases, and we're all probably feeling worried and concerned. I know I worry about our son and his family, including our six-year-old granddaughter every day. It's normal. It's normal to wonder how they are and, and be concerned about them. And with so much remote working, we're all looking at how do we structure this new environment with our family and work together, often in one space. Those of you working at home with small children and families, my thanks, and also my empathy for those challenging moments. Last week, our granddaughter colored over all my notes. I know what it's like. I trust you're doing well and stay safe. The team on the, who's staying on the campus is doing an incredible job to keep our community safe as well. It's our top priority. So please let me be very clear. No one in our community is expected to work or study in an unsafe environment. If you feel you're in a situation like that, please speak to your direct manager so they can look into, the, uh, into it and address your concerns consistent with WorkSafe BC guidelines. And if you're not comfortable with the situations properly resolved, please reach out to Occupational Health and Safety so we can follow up. Also, if additional cleaning or sanitation is needed, we have resources available so that, as well so that we please again reach out. There's more information about these resources in the frequently uh, asked questions on our website. For those working in the trades areas, and thank you for doing it in the disruption during this time, Deans Wayne Han, Guy Ellis, and Forrest Tittle are on site frequently and available to ensure safety in our trades programming, which is so important. Please reach out to them. I also wanted to address concerns about COVID for our community members. We take our direction on reporting and notification from the health authorities and understand that it is the health authority who will contact individuals affected directly. The exception is when contract tracing is deemed challenging, the public would then be alerted to a possible exposure, like the recent announcement through the University of Victoria. Hopefully we won't be in that situation. I would like to also note if there is any significant privacy concerns with publicly announcing that a student or faculty member has been tested positive. We will keep you informed. Please be assured that if we're asked by the health authority to communicate on, out on a broader level, we will do so and we'll do everything we can to support you and our community. And we know the impacts of COVID-19 go beyond health, creating financial uncertainty and stress for many of us, many people and families, and I understand this. For those of you who are waiting for more information about your own situation, we are in communication daily with government, multiple times a day actually, through various channels. We have clarity until the end of April only, and we're seeking answers for the longer term solution sooner rather than later. It is a process waiting. Information shared through recent briefings this week indicate government starting to get a handle on the situation. We will see a surge of cases coming in April and likely slow down over the summer with a comeback in the fall. I know that during this time that you'll become concerned about your family wherever you may be living, and I encourage you to re reach out to them. Be kind to each other. We're all going through various reactions in our own way. In that vein, I'd like to share a gentle reminder that we have counseling and support services available for all faculty and staff through Homewood Health and for students through student services. We will all get through this together. I firmly believe that. I have no doubt that this challenge will bring us closer together. Physically distancing aside, physical distancing aside in our teams, in our community, we will be together. 
I'm so proud of every department and area that's come together and how we're learning and using new technologies like Zoom, Jabber, Brightspace, Bongo, remote virtual desktop, to name a few amongst other platforms. As you no doubt can tell, we've, we're recording this video remotely. I also appreciate the ongoing input from our deans, the team of deans and our union leaders as well is very helpful for us. So please know that you continue to make a positive and very important difference for our students during this unprecedented time in our history. It's been fun to see some of the videos that you're doing as well and the students are giving very positive feedback on, on your teaching. We will continue to be transparent with information. And when we come back from this pandemic, government will look at the critical components that they need to invest in to bring our economy back over time. I've indicated to them that BCIT is a pillar community partner in providing support that industry needs, and we will be there with them. We will continue to share new information as it becomes available. But before closing, I thought we could just use a little levity. So we've taken the liberty of including a little YouTube song and the notes are in the video if you feel like a smile. Please take time to take care, be safe, stay well, minimize your personal risk and continue to show BCIT's compassion and caring. You do that every day so well. Thank you each and every one of you.